Hi, my name's Kaylin Ashley. I'm here today with Matthew, and we are gonna turn him into the Night King from Game of Thrones. So the Night King is obviously a very elaborate prosthetic makeup. It's definitely a pretty like big undertaking for a Halloween costume. But if you're also but if you're interested in doing something like this, these are all prosthetics that are available on the market and you could purchase and do it yourself. We're gonna start out with a bald cap. Uh, we're also gonna get him into some contact lenses, which is gonna be our first step. We wanna make sure that the lenses are in so um, he can get adjusted to them as well as, you know, we don't have to put them in when the makeup's already done. So Matthew, I'm gonna go ahead and have you um, pop those contact lenses in. All right, let's go. Awesome, Matthew, those look great. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is prep your skin. You wanna make sure that there aren't any oils on the skin. The first thing that we do is we take a, a stringent or a toner and just kind of knock back any oils on the face. Now I'm going in with a skin protectant called Dermashield. This is just gonna create a nice little barrier between the prosthetic and the adhesive and his face. So the next thing up in our process is we're gonna do a bald cap on you. When you do a bald cap, you wanna make sure that you bring the hair down as tight as possible. Um, I like to use a product called Gafquat, but gel or any other type of um, kind of hair product will do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a bald cap on you, uh, but before we get too ahead of um, ourselves, why don't you go ahead and take your shirt off? We're gonna do a prosthetic that'll probably stop here, and so it'll be easier to do that now than later. I'm gonna be using a medical grade adhesive called Prozade. This is an acrylic based adhesive. It's a lot better than something like spirit gum. Uh, it'll last a lot longer. So to make this process go a little faster, I'm gonna bring in my assistant, Callie. Come on in. Hey guys. So to really take this look to the next level, we're gonna go ahead and use some full face prosthetics. These are prosthetics by um, Morph Store. They're a company based in Florida, but you can get them online and you can order them and have them shipped to you. These are an awesome way of making your Halloween costume and take it to the next level. Um, if you don't have these or you're a little intimidated by these, um, you can also do this look with a face paint. It's totally fine. Now that we've got the face piece lined up, I have these horns that I picked up. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more inspired Night King, but these are just generic like little devil horns you can pick up um, online. They're by Rubberware, the same company that makes these ear tips. And these are a great way to um, add just some quick little horn action like the Night King has. While Kelly's blending, I'm gonna go ahead and apply his neck. That way it'll line up right underneath his chin. When you're working with Praze, the thing you want to remember is as long as this adhesive is a bit shiny, you want to make sure, like you want to powder it to lose that shine. It's always going to be tacky until you powder it. And so I just take a little bit of a translucent powder. You can use baby powder in a pinch and you just want to powder those shiny spots. This piece is going to absorb any product unless you seal it. Um, so what I typically like to do is take a product called Pax Paint. Pax Paint is the same Prozade adhesive mixed with a little bit of acrylic to tint it. Um, if you don't have that, you can just use straight up Prozade and coat the prosthetic with just solid Prozade and then move on to your paint. I'm gonna go ahead and take a water activated paint. This is a Kryolan Aqua Color. You can buy this at um, any kind of makeup supply store. Uh, these are awesome, especially if you don't wanna do any kind of heavy duty paint work. These you can do straight to skin. They're like well, I said, water activated. My personal preference is to paint using a sea sponge. You can buy these at any Target, Walmart, if they've got an art supply section. So now that we've sealed this prosthetic in, we're just gonna go in and sponge this aqua color all over the face. So now that we've got this nice, like, kind of um, off-white base tone, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the aqua colors with this awesome Pro Seal by European Body Art. Um, it's just gonna help seal all that paint in so that when I lay other colors down, it doesn't get lifted up. Now that I've got the base tone down and sealed, I'm gonna go in with some darker blues and grays and blacks into some of these crevices and just bring it more to that Night King aesthetic that we can recognize. I'm using an alcohol activated paint by European Body Art um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and run it through my airbrush and start bringing this together. And I'm just gonna, with my airbrush, follow along the prosthetic and kind of bring this texture up into the bald cap. He's got a lot of really fun kind of texture and, uh, 
anatomy in the head as well. So I'm trying to replicate that using the airbrush and some paint. All of these techniques you could do with uh, hand painted and body paint as well. I'm gonna switch back to the alcohol paint just to kind of reinforce some of the colors. I like to layer both hand painting and airbrush techniques. Gives it a little bit more of a realistic feel to it. It doesn't feel so, for lack of a better word, airbrushy. And using an alcohol activated palette, I'm gonna go in and just kind of detail, get into the crevices that I can't get in with my airbrush. using kind of a uh, navy blue. There's not actually a ton of blue in the, um, the Night King makeup, but I wanna give a little hints of that snow. A lot of the blue that you see in any of those shots are more camera or surrounding based. Using more of a uh, off-white tone, I'm just kinda going in and Hitting some highlight points. Now I'm taking just the two liquid alcohol paints and adding a little bit of alcohol to that, making it a little bit of a thinner mixture. That way I can fill it into some of these gaps. It'll fall into the cracks and then I can just wipe away the excess. I'm gonna get a darker blue cream out so I can get right up to his waterline. Always want to use a cream around the eye area. It's just safer and more comfortable than using an alcohol paint. And you don't want to use a water-based paint around the eyes because if they tear up, it'll just kind of wash away. Just hitting it with a little bit more sealer just to kind of melt the paints in together. Okay, Matthew, are you ready to get into your White Walker wardrobe? Yes, I'm excited. All right, awesome. Let's get you fitted. All right. Hi, my name's Kaylin Ashley, and thank you so much for watching my transformation of Matthew here into the Night King. Yeah, thanks so much. This looks incredible. Um, and thanks for watching me become the Night King from HBO's Game of Thrones.